Billy's Vlogs right here, and today we're going to be going about the carbon cycle. Alright, so the carbon cycle is a very complex cycle. Well, the first thing we're going to look at is the ocean. The ocean and its relationship with the atmosphere and its relationship with the seabed that's under the ocean. And how carbon is given between all of them, right? Alright, so the seabed has carbon dioxide reservoirs, you know, come up through the water. You know, they, they rise through the water, into the water. That, you know, that's how they get into the water. Then the atmosphere, it, you know, it goes down into the water, like it dissolves into the water. That's how the carbon gets into the water from the atmosphere. In the ocean, the carbon gets into the atmosphere from the ocean by dissolving into a carbon gas that goes into the atmosphere. And that's the relationship between the seabed, you know, the, the atmosphere and the ocean. Now, there's many other parts of the cycle. So, if you didn't know, we just came from the ocean. And I'm really doing transitions, so this is not how, probably just going to be a cut to this. So this is a tree, and it's very important to the CO2, you know, cycle, because it, it's the only thing that takes in CO2, really. Everything else, you know, gives it off. But this, this is the only thing that, you know, manages CO2. And that, that kind of helps out our ocean a bit, because the ocean kind of needs it right now. I'm not going to lie. Alright. And so the tree takes in CO2, and if it dies, it gives off CO2, which is bad right now. And if it gets eaten by a fish, the fish breathes CO2. You know, it, it dies, it gives off CO2. And it's kind of just an endless cycle, to be honest, but it, those are manageable conditions. We'll actually cut to the next part that is not such a manageable, ugh, a manageable, a manageable, how do I put this? Um, a manageable, a manageable source of carbon dioxide. All right, welcome to the third part of the video. Now I chose to, to talk about fossil fuels last. The reason why is because the biggest contributor to carbon dioxide. Like this thing right here, it goes off an absurd amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And does that mean I'm going to give it up? Probably not. To be honest, I'm pretty dumb and it's probably still going to give off a lot of carbon into the atmosphere. Now, what happens to the carbon in the atmosphere that I discussed later in the video? It goes into the oceans. Uh, it goes into the oceans, which acidify the oceans. It's like the fish are swimming in orange juice. Like, imagine you're a fish and you have to swim in orange juice. Like, that would suck. I'm not gonna lie, like, imagine breathing orange juice. The thing is, they ain't gonna survive if we keep up giving up those carbon dioxide. But, I really don't know how to solve the problem, to be honest. I'm just kind of, you know, giving out you know, that there is a problem. And I hope you all know this took like six takes to do. Like, it took a whole lot of takes. I kept messing up, and it really sucked. Like, I'm thinking about having a bloopers at the end, but yeah. All right, so this is the final part of my vlog right here. This is going to be the recap on this carbon dioxide cycle. It's been a pretty boring run, I'm not going to lie. Like, I had to spice it up a little bit here and there. It was still pretty boring. But, now what we're gonna go over now is how everything ties in. So, the seabed give off carbon reservoirs into the ocean. The singing atmosphere dissolves carbon into the ocean. The fish in the ocean breathe carbon and give it off into the ocean. All right? And then the plants give off, like, they take in carbon, but when they die, they give off more carbon. And when the fish die, they give off more carbon. All right? And then it's not helping that we're having fossil fuels going into the atmosphere, which dissolves into the ocean, which adds even more carbon. So what is our problem here? There is a lot of carbon in the cycle, and there is way too much carbon going into the oceans. So how are we going to solve it? Well, let's get rid of fossil fuels. Simple as that. All right, save the world. So I might have forgot this in the recap, but don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with everyone you know so we can get more views, so it's more popular, so it's the most popular video on the internet, and so I can make some money. I mean, save the environment. I would never profit off such a thing because that is just evil.